Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I just want to sit down and talk because Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty is coming. I am literally filming this the night before the sales start, so I want to get through it fast so I can get this edited and uploaded to give you my recommendations of what you should get and maybe a few things that you should not get. So I'm doing this to help you and I'm doing this to help me because there are some things that I'm already like, I'm going on this day, I'm going on this day and I want this, but wait, don't I have this already? So I'm holding myself accountable, check my stash before I go out and buy something that I already have. So before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. We talk about a lot of makeup, a lot of hair, a lot of nails. We throw in some fitness. So yeah, we cover all things related to beauty. So if you want to see what I recommend you pick up and what I suggest you stay away from during the 21 days of beauty sale at Ulta, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So if you're not familiar with the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, it is basically what it says, 21 Days of Beauty, where every day they pick certain products and they mark them half off. There are some products that are for platinum or diamond members, whatever, um, that only they can get. There are some that are in the app only. There are some that are online and in store together. It's just, it depends on what it is. It depends on what they pick. But this stuff goes pretty quick, especially the more popular stuff. So sometimes it's easier to get it online and wait for shipping. Other times, if you have a store close to you, it's easier to just run to the store and grab it. So we're going to go through, I think every day, we just, I'm going to try to do it fast. So we're going to start, it starts on March 12th. Like I said, today is the 11th. So yes, this is starting tomorrow. On the first day, there are some Peach and Lily products, and the first one is the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. I'm not going to talk about stuff I haven't tried, and I'm not going to talk about stuff I haven't picked up, because there's too many products. So, we're not going to talk about that one. I'm not picking it up. It has good reviews. Looks like it could be good, but I have enough stuff. So, skipping that. But, I do want to try the Peach and Lily Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum. I have been dealing with a little bit of texture on my skin, so anything serum related that is lactic acid, resurfacing, all of that stuff, I wanna try it. It's normally $51 and it will be on sale for half off. I was kinda of thinking about trying this. This is the Tarte, let me slide over so I can show y'all some pictures. This is the Tarte Face Tape Full Coverage Vegan Foundation. It has good reviews, it has 50 shades. I kinda wanna try it. I love foundation, I love eyeshadow, I love foundation. That is the top two for me. So because it's gonna be on sale for $20, I'm kinda thinking about it. I don't know, but it's in my cart. Um, the other two products on this day that I plan on picking up are the Zit Stickers. They have their Goo Getter Surface Zit Hydrocolloid Patches and then there are micro dart patches. I'm getting both. These are really good if you have a zit, if it's deep in the surface, the hydro dart, hydro dart, micro dart ones are better because it can kind of go deeper into the skin. It's not real darts, but they do have some little pricklies that penetrate the skin. But this just helps if you have a zit, it helps cover it so you can't pick it, pulls all the gunk out and helps it go away faster. Another thing I recommend that I'm not picking up because I have backups of this already is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot Eyeshadow. These are great for a base for your eyeshadows, but they also have some really cool colors. So I've picked up some that are actually like multi-chrome or duochrome. I've also picked up, my favorite is Lay and Low. Um, it's more kind of like everybody used to love painterly, but painterly super light. So more for light complexions, lay and low, I feel like is better for us, but they have some shimmer colors as well. So if you want to try that out, I think this is a great time. They're half off. On March 13th, the only thing that I'm really interested in is the Kinship Bright Wave Vitamin C Energizing and Brightening Eye Cream. Now I need to check my stash. I've taken screenshots of everything that I have. I think I have this already and I haven't used it yet. So if I do, 
I'm not going to get another one. No need. Um, I've heard that the Urban Decay Vice Hydrating Lipsticks are really good. I haven't tried it, but they have really good reviews. They're $21 on sale for half off. I might pick one up just to try it. And that's it. The Lancome Pro LaBase Pro Oil Free Longwear Makeup Primer. I have it and I don't think, I don't have an opinion on it. I don't feel like I love it. I don't feel like I hate it. It's one of those kind of silicone primers, which I used to hate when I was oily because it felt like everything slid off my face. Now, because my skin is more normal since I've been off of Accutane for a while, but Accutane dried me out. I feel like those products can work. I just, I haven't and I haven't tried it enough. So it has good reviews. If you want to try it, it's $42, half off, 21 bucks is worth it. On the 14th, Derma Blend is going to have their loose setting powders. I love this powder. It's upstairs on my vanity right now. I have the translucent one. I use that set whenever I have a concealer that is a little darker, closer to my skin tone, but I wanna brighten, I will use that under my eyes. I can bake with it. I can just set it loosely and it doesn't look cakey or have flashback. So I definitely recommend it. It comes in three different shades, so you have options for that. They have an illuminating one. I'm not picking that up. There's some stuff from Nude Sticks. I've just never gotten into that. Y'all comment and let me know if it's something I should try. Have you tried it? Do you like it? I just don't know. Maybe one of the blushes or something. But I'm trying to only buy stuff that I really want versus it's on sale, so I need to get it. That's been my biggest problem, so... Based on that, I should not. Um, as far as everything else, I have picked up the Patchology Flash Patch Restoring Night Eye Gels. I like those, so if you're interested in trying an eye gel, it's a patch that you put on and let sit for 10 to 15 minutes and it helps to hydrate. There's a daytime one that kind of helps to depuff. They're cooling. Definitely a great time to try that. On the 15th, um, there's nothing. I have one of the Lorac Pro palettes. I think it's the, yeah, I have the fairy tale one that has the green. I was very, okay. I was underwhelmed by the color stories that they had available, but I picked that one because it had a green. And then when it came in, I was disappointed with how small it is. Now, being that it is on sale for half off, this might make a little more sense, but I haven't tried it yet. I haven't even tried it. So I can't tell you if it's good or not. The Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, those are always great, so that's a good time to pick that up. I probably have that in my drawer, a brown and a black. On the 16th, the Strivectin Super C Retinol Brighten and Correct Vitamin C Serum, I absolutely love it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I think I have one, but these are $72. I used this before, loved how my makeup looked when I put my makeup on after using this. So I bought another one. I'm pretty sure I got it on sale because I know I didn't pay $72, but I'm not going to lie. I know I have one in the drawer that's not open and I'm probably going to pick up another one because I do want to get back to using that more regularly. They also have the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Plumpers. I don't use that. I've heard they burn really bad. A lot of people complain about them, so we're not going to try that. The About Face brand has their matte fix lip pencils and their matte lip colors that are going to be on sale. I've never tried their lip pencil or their lip colors. It's basically a liquid lipstick, but I do know that I like their eye paints, so I'm probably going to try this. They're really inexpensive too. The pencil is $12, the lip color $16, and you get half off of that, so... Probably going to put that in my cart. On the 17th, La Vie Belle perfume is going to be on sale. I don't know if I've even smelled this. I don't know what the notes are. Let me see. Details say it's a floral iris patchouli spun sugar warm vanilla. I don't know. I kind of want to try it just because it's on sale. But, you know, I might get one of the smaller ones because that's also going to be on sale just to be able to smell it. I think we're gonna try that. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, absolutely love that. And that's $22, so it's good to get it on sale. And then the Ofra Highlighters, those are really good. I have one, 
maybe two. Um, so if you're interested in trying those, this is a good time. And I think that's it on that day. There wasn't really anything else. There's some days where it's like, oh, there's stuff that I really want. And then there's other days where I'm like, this again. On the 18th, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, her Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I'm probably going to get another one of these. I have one, I think. I need to check. But I feel like I didn't pick the right shade when I got it, so I don't wear it a lot. So I need to get the right shade. There's also going to be some Clinique um, skincare on sale. I'm going to pass on that, but Clinique is a great brand, especially if you have problematic skin. And then, yeah, there's nothing else on here that I'm looking at. Oh, Benefit's new, interesting, I'm surprised those are here. So Benefit's new blushes that they just came out with, their box blushes. Oh, I might pick up one of these. I like the Java Rosy Mocha Blush shade, kind of like a bronzer blush shade. And then also the Terra Golden Red, Brick Red Blush. So I might try a couple of those. Those are $31. They'll be on sale for half off. On the 19th, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation will be on sale for half off. Now, you can always go to the cosmetics company store and this brand is always there and they always have this foundation. The problem is sometimes they don't have all the shades. So if I didn't have this already, two or three bottles of it in different shades, I would pick it up, but I have it, so I'm not. If you love full coverage, stay all day, makeup is not gonna move, this is your foundation. You can also put on a light layer if you don't need as much coverage and it's still gonna stay. So keep that in mind. It's not only for people who just want full coverage, but full coverage, lasting power right here in this bottle. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Ultra Slim Retractable Pencil. If you love a skinny pencil for your brows, rack up. In the past years, I have racked up, I think I have like 30 pencils. Because every time they had the sale, I bought these. And now I don't even like them anymore. I like the thicker ones. So I need to get back to using them because I have so many of them. It's a great pencil. It lasts. This thing has 20,000 reviews, four and a half stars. So clearly, it's a great pencil. There will also be some IT Cosmetics brushes. I think I have some, and these are really good brushes, but I'm not a brush person like that. So... If you're interested in trying some higher end brushes, this is also a good time to do it. But I think there's one shadow brush, a blush brush, and a powder bronzer brush on this day. So it's not even the full spectrum of the brushes that they have. On the 19th, there are also going to be some app only products. So this is what I was talking about earlier. There is a lip recovery mask from Fresh. I do want to try that. And then Kate Somerville, some Paracone MD, not interested in any of that. Um, oh, some press on nails. Y'all know I always buy my press on nails when they are on sale. So I am probably gonna rack up on those too. I have some on today. These are actually the OPIs and these are, are these gonna be on sale? No, cause these are only the solids. Same brand, but these are not gonna be on sale, but they have some other ones, so. If you need to re-up on your nails, check these out. And then the Derma Flash is also going to be on sale. There's a mini version and then the mini refills. I have this upstairs. I have the full size one. So I always look to see if they're going to have the refill blades on sale because those are kind of expensive too. And you're supposed to change it every time you use it, which I ain't going to lie. I do not do that. So... Something else to keep in mind. On the 20th, Smashbox primers are going to be on sale. I'm not buying any of these. If I didn't have a million primers already, I probably would. But like the Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer, I think I have two or three of those in my collection. So we're not doing that. Um, there's really nothing else on that day. Stila has their Heaven Hue Highlighter. I think that's the putty one. I don't remember, let's see. Bouncy to the touch, yeah. So this is not a powder, it's like a cream kind of, but I've never tried this. Ooh, Kitten is pretty. I don't know, I don't need any more highlighters. But if you need a highlighter, check this one out. 
March 21st. So there are some Urban Decay Shadow Sticks. I don't use those, but Urban Decay makes great eye products. Um, oh yeah, so the KP Smoothing Body Lotion. I'm definitely picking that up. I have one upstairs. I have opened it. And I use this mainly on the back of my thighs because I have KP on the back of my thighs. And it's just from sitting all day. I get laser hair removal. But the lady told me I need to start using um, more exfoliators and scrubs in the shower and to use a product like this that helps to smooth. So I am going to get another one of those and start using it more regularly. Other than that, I've never tried. I'm interested to try Key Soul Care. So there is an illuminating serum. I kind of want to try it. What is in it? It says hydrating and illuminating Priming face serum with a sheer golden tint. Yep, I'm trying it. That answered that. So that is going to be on my list too. March 22nd. Okay, Uoma Beauty. They have some lipsticks that are going to be on sale. I don't have any of their lipsticks, so I'm probably going to pick one up just because support black-owned brands. Juvia's Place. Oh, their brownie liner is going to be on sale. I'm going to pick that up. I probably have backups, but I also just used up a whole one. That is my one of my all-time favorite liners, so have to get that. They also have some lip glosses, some liquid lipsticks. So if you love Ju Juvia's Place lip products, March 22nd is your day. There was another product. So this Live Tinted Hue Multi Stick. I feel like this is marketed. No, it's not because there's a black one. What is this for? So I thought... I planned on getting this to use as a color corrector because they do have an orange shade. It does say that it's a twistable crayon. Thank you, baby Jesus. That makes it easy to apply makeup on the go or target specific areas. So it has vitamin C in it and vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. So I'm probably going to pick this up. There are seven shades. I wanted to get an orange one, but what can you... I plan on using it as a spot like a color corrector, but it says, oh, this isn't the same thing then. This says swipe on your eyes, cheeks, and lips for buildable color. This is not what I thought it was. <laughs> this ain't what I thought it was. So I don't think I'm gonna pick that up. Never mind. Jaclyn Cosmetics Sunbathe Bronzer. Yes, I have one. It is good. Yes, I think you should get it. If you love bronzers, it is buildable. It is not powdery. It is can be built up so it's not one of those like pigmented right off the bat ones. I tend to like those, but I've also learned how to build up the other ones and it not look crazy. So I definitely recommend this one. It's $32, so you'll get it for 16. Here we go, yes. So Live Tinted does have their Hue Stick Corrector. I knew I wasn't tripping. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm not worried about that other thing that they have. On the 23rd, Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. This is a great primer. I used it years ago. I loved it. I have other primers that I like more now. I say that, but being how long it's been since I've tried it, I don't know if that's true. I just know I'm not really in the market for another primer right now, so that's probably the only reason why I'm not gonna pick it up. Um, Urban Decay also has their Glide On Lip Pencils. I don't think I've tried a lip pencil from Urban Decay. I have tried their eye pencils. So I might pick one of these up if they, oh yeah, they got some deep shades. Yeah, I'm probably going to pick one of those up. Anytime I can get a lip liner on sale, I'm going to get it because if I'm leaving the house, even if I don't put makeup on, I'm going to put on a lip liner and a gloss always just because why not? I think it looks decent. It makes, I think it makes my lips look better. And I also don't like how much darker the outer part of my lips are compared to the inside. So I just want to even everything out. If you like Lancome skincare, I haven't tried these, so I can't recommend these, but these do have really good reviews. And being how expensive they are, like they have a night cream that is $160. Have y'all tried that? Is it worth it? Let me know before the day of this sale on March 23rd so I can pick it up. <laughs> Let me know, because Jesus, they have a triple serum that's $140, and then their eye cream is $82. These all have four and a half stars, so it must be good, but ooh-wee, that's, that's expensive. 
Okay, so on the 24th, you have the Clinique Happy Perfume. I have not tried that, but if you like it, great day to get it. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I don't like this mascara. I just don't. I feel like it flakes. I feel like I have stuff that black spots that end up on my face. It's just, it's not, it's not for me. But if you love it, because some people do, this is a great time to pick it up. There are also some Bobbi Brown lip glosses. There's a shimmer one. And then one of her others is like a super opaque lip gloss. I think I have one of those. Pretty sure I do. And it's like a brownish red. Great formula. So if you want to try that, pick that up. The Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Every time there's a sale, I pick these up. That is my all-time favorite exfoliating cleanser. It's gentle enough to use every day. It has your AHAs and BHAs, so it's a chemical and a physical exfoliant. So I'm trying to decide if I want to pick another one up because I have two backups already. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, because it's $46. So we need to pick it up when it's half price. The Smashbox Sharp always sharp long wear waterproof pencils I have yes I do I have a purple one and a green one I like them these are $27 so if you're in the market for a new eye pencil I think you should try it there's five colors that will be on sale a blue a lighter brown with a shimmer a black a purple and a regular brown so not a lot of options but kind of like your basics on the 25th the it Cosmetics cc cream illumination foundation there's just not enough shades and it's hard to pick a shade i wish there was better but i'm not going to pick that up the goof proof waterproof easy shape and fill eyebrow pencil by benefit absolutely that is my favorite brow product right now i have one down here and one upstairs for when i do my makeup so i will be re-upping on that then the it cosmetics brushes they do have your face brushes on this day so there's a double ended concealer and foundation brush i might pick that up because i like to have that to travel and i think i only have one other brush that has that maybe two but i think elf makes one right so I don't know because this one's 34 so that'll be 17 but elf is even cheaper I need to check on that because if that's the case I'm not gonna buy it but there are other face brushes too so if you want to try them they're great brushes if you want to try something more high-end they're also gonna have on that day a surprise steal from buxom I forgot to mention on the 24th there's gonna be a surprise from Peter Thomas Roth we have no idea what it is until the day they announce it, so I think that's probably why I skipped it. On the 26th, if you love MAC Fix Plus, these will be on sale. So go ahead and pick those up. They're also going to have their Studio Fix Powder. I've been wanting to get this. I don't have it. I just want to try it because I also like face powders. But I haven't been able to find a shade that I felt like matched. I need to see in store and swatch them. And I have not been able to do that. So that's my problem with that. Um, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumping Gloss. I want to try those. Only because I've heard a lot of people talk about them. And they say they're really good. So I want to try it. That is all. On the 27th, is there anything? Minted Cosmetics Lip Liners absolute must need to try those love the formula retractable definitely pick that up their semi matte lipsticks i don't think i have any of their lipsticks but this would be a great time to try it because it's on sale and i kind of think that's it the fresh deep rose hydration facial toner is a really good skincare product if you're in the market for a toner the peter thomas roth firmex peeling gel I'm kind of tempted to try that again. It's $49. Uh, what Basically what this is, is it's kind of like an exfoliant. I just feel like, I don't know if it was gimmicky or not. So you put it on your dry skin and you roll it around and supposedly whatever's peeling up is actually dead skin. But I'm like, is that not just the product peel peeling? You know, I don't know. So it has good reviews. So I'm probably going to get be a sucker and pick one up just to see if I remember if it was really as good as it says. 
on the 28th, which is my birthday, there is nothing that I want, <laughs> which is a good thing. There's some skincare, the L'Occitane almond shower oil. I've heard people talk about that, but I'm not buying that. If they had the Grand, Grande Lash Serum, I would pick that up, but this is for the brows. If you need a brow serum, it's $73 regular, so great time to pick it up. But other than that, there's nothing on this day that I'm interested in. On the 29th, I kind of want to try, but again, there's an issue with picking my shade. The Derma Blend Flawless Creator Liquid Foundation Drops. They're probably like the NYX Total Control Drops, but I want to try these anyway. So if they have them in store and I can try to match myself better, then I might pick them up. If not, I'm just not. The Dermalogica Daily Glycolic Cleanser, yes. Also pick that up. I like their Daily Exfoliant, and I also like that. And that is it. There's some Urban Decay Singles, but I don't really buy single eyeshadows anymore. There's also some Exuviants. These are peels. There are peels, so if you... Hmm. No, no, no. I'm not buying it, but if you're interested, do that. Those are on March 29th. On the 30th, Benefit Cosmetics Professional Pore, Pore Minimizing Primer. They have their Hydrating Primer and their Professional Light Primer. I don't use this primer. It is that silicone kind of base, so I don't use it, but I've heard that a lot of people love it. It has good reviews, so if you're interested in trying it or it's one of your favorites, perfect time to go pick it up. The Philosophy Made Simple One-Step Facial Cleanser, Cleanser. I used to pick this up every sale. I don't like it anymore. It's just not. It has great reviews, so if you want something that is not heavily fragranced and it's kind of like a makeup remover all in one, but I do so many steps, so I kind of feel like it's not going to be a one-step and done process for me. I just, I'm over it. I tried it and I don't want to do it again. They also have some of the Nabla Cutie palettes. I like these palettes. I have the Platinum one, I believe. And I also have, is it the, it's not the Wildberry. There's another one. I'll put the name on the screen. Coral. That's the one I have. But they have the Cutie um, Wildberry, the Platinum. The Nude is really pretty as well. They have the Midnight, which is a blue, and then Analog is absolutely gorgeous. It's warm tones. I know I don't need that. There's also some other Nabla palettes. They have their little glitter palettes. Haven't tried those. The Secret palette I have. I haven't even tried it. So if you want to try Nabla, again, 50% off, perfect time to do it. How many more days we got? On the 31st, we have It Cosmetics is going to be a surprise, whatever they have that day. The Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base Primer and Moisturizer. I have this. I love it. So I suggest you get that. I also suggest the First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pads. If you shave and get ingrown hairs, these work magic. I have some upstairs and I'm probably going to re-up during the sale if they don't run out of them too fast. I think that's it for that day. Yeah. There's nothing else on the 31st that I'm like, I need to have this. They have some app-only stuff that is going to be on sale as well. The brand Volition, which I've never tried. Nope, not interested in any of this stuff. It's a lot more skincare. There's a couple mascaras too. On April 1st, they're going to have a surprise from Giorgio Armani. No idea what. They're also going to have the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm thinking, even though I probably have five tubes of this, I bought this when I first got into makeup and I bought one that is like three shades lighter than my face. So I want to get one that is closer to my skin tone. They have the creamy one and the regular one. The Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara is also on sale. I know a lot of people love it. I think I have it. I think I tried it and I don't remember loving it. So... Not for me, but if you love that mascara, 17,000 reviews, four and a half stars. There's also some Clinique skincare, so if you're interested in that, I would suggest picking that up. But that's about it on that day, and that is the end of the sale. I feel like 
back in the day when I first started shopping these sales, anything that looked halfway interesting, I was like, oh, I need to grab that. Just because I used to feel like there were not enough sales happening. So when I saw a sale, hurry up and pick it up. Now I feel like sales happen all the freaking time. And so take that with a grain of salt. It's not often that a sale happens and it's 50% off. So that is it for my suggestions and my recommendations of products to stay away from. Comment below, let me know what you're picking up. Tell me if you disagree, why you like something that maybe I didn't like, maybe I used it wrong. Always love hearing from you guys. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. I know that I